gentlemen uh welcome back to the channel hopefully everyone's had a uh great week so far uh miss you guys it's been a while uh, unfortunately here in the midwest shoot the past uh two weeks it's been monsoon season uh we have tornadoes uh you name it my neighbor right over here next property he's got a, a tree still leaning against his uh his house so it, it's been a mess uh, lots of flooding and everything but uh glad to be back Got a different video for you guys today. Uh, today I want to talk about communication. Always talk to your friends. Tell them you love them. Be honest. Not that type of communication. Uh, this type of communication. Now what would you do? Uh, let's say if there's some bad power outage, some bad storms, like we just had, perfect example, or something even worse where cell phones are rendered useless. Uh, you know, when you go out hiking, when you go out on your bike, whatever, your number one line of communication is obviously your cell phone. But like I just said, that's not always going to be readily available. But we do have an option. Two-way ham radio walkie-talkies. Uh, what I have here, this is called a Baofeng, Bofeng, however you want to say it. Uh, these are fantastic. This here is the uh, little bit fancier one. This one was $30. But I also have a different model here, uh, just your standard one uh, for, for $20. And I'm going to go over what these are, what they do and uh, so on and so forth yeah 20 bucks here for for this guy i don't have the antenna on and uh, you have a uh, two-way uh, walkie-talkie it's good for about three and a half miles i found out and you also have a uh, police scanner as well built in so you can stay abreast of what's going on in case of an emergency fantastic device it's a great investment uh, i got four of them a couple for the shop, for the house, for the garage. That way it's always around. A lot easier than, you know, dialing a phone number. Uh, if you're ever out hiking or, you know, going motocrossing with the guys, you know, bring a couple with you. I have a solution I'm going to go over. Uh, you know, that way you can always be in communication with your friends in case there's, you know, not just an emergency, but just to talk, just to, just to communicate. And God, I was looking over these things, doing some research on YouTube. Oh man, what a <laughs> what a crotchety community the ham radio uh, guys are. The, this com I'm gonna get a thousand comments below. I already know it. Uh, the ham radio guys, yeah, it, it's kind of a ham radio. Yes, it is illegal to push the push to talk button. With, with caveats, uh, it's not illegal to talk on the uh, family lines or anything like that. It, obviously, if you're going to interrupt police communication, emergency communication emergency communications yes it's you know illegal by the fcc no one is driving around with a signal detector trying to find out you know if, a, if two two guys are, are communicating to each other you know on motocross it's, it's not going to happen <laughs> no one does it no one's out policing people using these ethically or the right way as a walkie-talkie it's not going to happen I, I read the police blotter every morning never do i see you know Dan Johnson got arrested for using a, a walkie-talkie to communicate. It, it just doesn't happen. But, you know, these ham radio guys, they have their little, their little group because they studied for a test, took this test, you know, probably 50 years ago, and they think they're the know-it-all, end-all, be-all. I don't have time for it. I'm done with tests uh, in my life. I'm done testing. I don't do that stuff anymore. And uh, I'm just done with it. The, the comments are insane when people are saying that, you know, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Just look at any ham radio channel and uh, on YouTube and just read the comment section. It, it's full of, uh, <laughs> you know, you'll see what I mean. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys a solution I have for these. Uh, that way you're always, you know, ready to go and uh, ready for the next emergency. All right, gentlemen, uh, as you can see, this is everything has to do with my little uh, Bofeng radios here. Uh, it's, it was kind of a mess, you know, just getting these. These are two of them. It comes with these cheap little uh, attachments. I'll probably never use. I'll probably just throw these away. Uh, what I did invest in are these, uh, I'm sure you see the police use these. They use the uh, Kenmore adapter. They plug into the side of any of these Bofeng radios here. And uh, basically, yeah, put this in your pocket your your radio that way you get it out of the way you can lock it so you're not pushing any buttons and i keep this up on my uh up on my shoulder so that way i could hear everything and also as a push to talk as well a lot easier than every time you're trying to communicate whipping this out of your pocket and uh holding down the uh ptt to uh communicate so invest in these i got a couple of them i think these were about seven bucks a piece it's 
not high quality. It's kind of thin, cheap plastic, but you know, I'm not going to be dropping it or smashing it. Uh, you can also go on eBay. There's a lot of police surplus out there and get some better quality uh, used ones if you wish. But yeah, it, it's a mess. You know, you got pieces everywhere. Uh, I wanted to come with, with a solution, you know, in case I do go out and I could just grab this and go or in case there is, is emergency and, you know, me and somebody else has to grab this and go. Uh, this is a perfect bag here. I'll put a link in the description just so I can take this off too. Little, what's it called? IFAC medical case. Uh, I think it was $8 or so on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. Some good straps, very heavy, heavy denim. And yeah, basically what I do is I just put, it fits perfect. I could probably put three in here, honestly. Let's try that. It does not fit with the antennas. You could take these off. They just screw on and off uh, quite easily. Throw that in the bag. Throw that in there. Uh, put my microphone in the front pouch. I don't know if you guys could see, but that's nice too. It has a little divider in this bag so you can kind of neatly put everything in there and just zip it up and throw this in the truck and boom now i have three three people can communicate uh together without uh, needing a cell phone or anything like that so just a handy little kit i think everyone should have this uh right here in this bag it was probably 65 dollars for the walkie talkies 14 for the two headsets at eight bucks for this bag and now you know if, I, if there's ever a storm we have to you know get up and go quick i could just grab this and uh you know go on my merry way uh perfect for airsoft too if you have any airsoft buddies any motocross buddies uh you know perfect solution to stay in communication with each other and yeah i, I like it for for the small investment uh it's it's great uh, now I could leave my cell phone in the car. You know, my cell phone's, you know, $1,400. If I drop one of these walkie-talkies and it breaks or it gets wet, that's $20 down the drain. So, you know, <laughs> weigh, weigh the two and uh, let me know what you think the best option is. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please keep the boomer comments out. Yeah, no, go ahead. Leave some boomer comments about ham radio so that way everyone can see how foolish you guys look. All right, guys, like and subscribe. We're doing a Milwaukee Drill giveaway, uh, 1,000 subs. Peace out.